Hello students, under the topic integration by parts, now here we have the next problem that is to find the integral of e power x cos x dx. This problem is same as problem number 19 where we had integral e power x sin x dx. Uh, so the first step is we have to choose this complete integral as capital I. We have to represent this integral as capital I. The reason I have told in my previous video that is while solving problem 19. So kindly go through that. So we have to uh, represent this complete integral as capital I. So whenever we have a combination of the exponential function and the trigonometric function, we should uh, represent the integral as capital I. And then we have to make the choice of the function u and the choice of the function dv by using I L A T E. So as per this trigonometric function comes first after which comes the exponential function. So the choice of u must be the trigonometric function cos x. So this is this has to be chosen as u. So cos x and dv has to be the remaining parts that is e power x dx has to be chosen as dv. Now we have to differentiate u with respect to x. du by dx will be equal to the integral I mean, uh, differentiation of cos x is negative sin x. And so from this we obtain du to be equal to negative sin x dx. So we have chosen u as cos x and we have obtained du. Now dv is equal to e power x dx. So we have to integrate on both the sides. The integral of dv is v which is equal to the integral of e power x dx is e power x. So this is v. Now we have to uh, apply all these three in the formula integral u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du. Now integral u dv is the given question and the given question we have represented as capital I. So capital I will be equal to uv. So as per this formula we have to write uv. What is u? u is cos x multiplied with v. What is v? e to the power x minus integral v du. So v is e to the power x and du is minus sin x dx. So that minus gets multiplied with this minus. So minus into minus becomes plus and then we have sin x dx. So let us mark this as equation 1. Now in this equation, we have to evaluate integral e to the power x sin x dx separately and take and substitute that in this equation. So let us evaluate that now. Again using the rule ILATE, we have to do this by integration by parts. So the function u will be sin x because the trigonometric function has to be chosen first and dv will be equal to e to the power x dx. So from this we get du by dx is equal to cos x and so du will be equal to cos x dx. So we have obtained this. Now next up on this side uh, that is the uh, dv is equal to e power x dx. So integrating on both the sides we get v to be equal to e to the power x. So again now we have to uh, do this that is we have to apply udv method for this integral so the formula is going to be the same integral udv is equal to uv minus integral v du now here the function u is sin x and dv is e to the power x dx so this integral will be equal to integral e to the power x sin x dx is equal to u v so u is sin x v is e power x so i can write it as e power x sin x minus integral v du v is e to the power x du is cos x dx now we observe that this integral is represented as is our question that is this one which we have represented as capital i so instead of integral e power x cos x dx we can replace and write this as, so this will be equal to e to the power x sin x minus capital I. So therefore we have evaluated 
e power x sin x dx to be equal to e power x sin x minus i. Now we have to take this and substitute in our equation 1 in place of integral e power x sin x dx. So in this place we have to substitute the answer that is uh, we have evaluated that separately here. So we have to substitute e power x sin x minus i. So instead of this full term we have to replace it by e power x sin x minus i. So, so therefore this capital I will be equal to so we will do it here capital I will be equal to what we have here cos x e power x. So we can write this as e power x cos x. I am just writing this e power x in before this cos x. So we can we get e power x cos x and then we have plus so this plus instead of this integral e power x sin x dx we will replace it by this one that is e power x sin x minus i now further simplifying this this minus i when we take it to the left side it becomes plus i so it will be i plus i is equal to e power x cos x plus e to the power x sin x. So what is i plus i? It will be 2i is equal to, we can see that e power x is common in both the terms. So let us take that out. So here you get cos x plus sin x. And so actually we are evaluating i. So i will be equal to taking this 2 to the right, we get e to the power x divided by 2 multiplied with cos x plus sin x. So this is what we are evaluating. So what is capital I? It is the given question that is integral e to the power x cos x dx. And that we have evaluated as e power x divided by 2 multiplied with cos x plus sin x. So this is the answer. So problem number 19 and problem number 20 are very significant questions. They, uh, they may appear under 7 marks. Hope you understand this. Thank you.